You, the young man who killed Baltimore County Police Officer Amy Caprio wants his conviction overturned. A Maryland's highest court heard arguments for the appeal for Dante Harris this afternoon. WJZ live at County Police Headquarters tonight. Christina Mendez is going to walk us through the points that were made in court today. Christina. Well, there were several points made today in the Court of Appeals. One on the severity of the sentence and his age at the time of the crime. Dante Harris was 17 years old when he was convicted of killing Baltimore County Police Officer Amy Caprio. He was acting as a getaway driver in May 2018 while three other teens burglarized a home in Perry Hall. Harris is serving life in prison with the possibility of parole, but is now fighting to have the guilty verdict overturned. Why isn't it felony murder? Two arguments were heard in the Court of Appeals. The first, whether felony murder is preempted by a lesser manslaughter charge. Police body camera video shows Officer Caprio with her gun drawn. Stop! Stop! Get out of the car! And demands Harris get out of the SUV. That's when the teen hit the gas and ran her over. Caprio fired one shot, which did hit the windshield. She later died at the hospital. When assessing whether this juvenile is... Um, should receive a life sentence. The second argument, which focuses on the severity of the sentence. There was nothing in there that said, well, because of Mr. Harris's background, because he's 16, because he got into trouble when he was a minor, he therefore was unable to appreciate the risks and consequences. Harris's lawyer argues that without considering Harris's age, the life sentence with the possibility of parole is unconstitutionally cruel and unusual punishment. But the state argues it's a fair sentence. The state asks that this court affirm the judgment's vote. There is no exact time frame on when exactly a decision could be made with this specific appeal, but I was told by a spokesperson that the Court of Appeals must complete all of their opinions by August 31st. I'm reporting live at 5. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.